not have gotten a better wake up call. Uh, so I got a call from my contact today at Toyota and he said that my 2022 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro is here. Uh, only waited 11 months, uh, but man, it is finally here. I'm excited, uh, completely caught off guard. I uh, wanted to record this video in the sense of showing you guys that I'm waking up to this and I will take you guys to pick up the truck with me. And uh, you know, the crazy thing is, is that they told me that the truck wasn't even going to be starting to be built until about maybe yesterday. And, and so I got to find out from my guys to whether or not this was planned. Uh, in a sense, it surprised me. Either way, I can't complain. But uh, truly excited. It's here. He showed me videos and pictures of the truck this morning. And uh, it's funny, he called me this morning and was like, hey, do you not check your text message? And I'm looking like, man, it's at 8 in the morning. Why would I? <laughs> I'm completely knocked out. And he's like, I need you to open your text messages. And sure enough, there she is. Uh, even got so excited that I ran into the restroom while my wife was taking a shower and said, my truck is here. And uh, man, completely caught her off guard too. But either way, uh, good friends of mine are coming as well. They've been anxious and intrigued to uh, see the truck. And they told me that the moment that the truck comes to call them, say, hey, we are coming with you. We want to see the truck. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, man, my friends are truly excited as well. One is on his way. I called him, literally sounds like he was still in bed. And I said, the truck is here. He's like, let me brush my teeth. All right, so my boy is here. My ride is here. We are getting ready to go. Uh, sir, Uber doesn't come and ring the doorbell? Uber's here. <laughs> What's up, Eddie? Guys, say hello to Eddie Herrera here. What up, guys? One of my best friends there. He's coming here with me to pick up the truck. And I uh, just wanted to show look, look at him repping the Astros. How we doing this year, Eddie? Oh, brother. Astros or you? Ah, oh, man. <laughs> I feel like I won the World Series today, man. Woo! We got the truck. You ready? Let's go. Today's a big day, bro. Right outside. And uh, uh, the Prius, the reliable Prius, uh, unfortunately, will be parked outside. Um, and you know guys, the funny thing about this car is that when they announced that they were going to release the newly redesigned Tundra, um, I went ahead and immediately traded my 2018 uh, STI Limited, uh, even without knowing exactly when the ETA was on that truck. And uh, for several months, I was actually trying to uh, just borrow vehicles, <laughs> driving my wife's car, driving my cars. Uh, I actually have a... Uh, Honda S2000 as well, which we'll get to that shortly. But this car was a car that was not even on my radar. This car, I would describe it as a car that you don't want, but you really need. And um, we're definitely gonna go ahead and do a little bit more of a thorough review on this vehicle, kind of give you my true perspective as a car enthusiast, what it's really like to own this car. And you know, you can clearly see my attempt into uh, at least trying to make it somewhat a little bit more presentable. Um, I have a bad problem of not being able to leave car stock. We're about a few minutes away here from arriving at Fred Haas Toyota Country and got my awesome Uber driver here. <laughs> and uh, we had to go pick up a little coffee, uh, morning routine, especially with the fact that I'm gonna be uh, trying to negotiate these guys down to a good price. Just kidding. <laughs> There's no negotiation here, man. Uh, let me tell you, they, it's kind of like, you don't buy it, somebody else will. Right, Eddie? 100%. Man, it's, uh, you got no choice. I, I initially wanted black. I was told you're gonna get Lunar Rock. And I said, let me think about it. I said, well, you think about it, you might need to wait another year for it. And I said, I right, retract my previous statement. Let me go get it. <laughs> so here we are. Uh, I think uh, one of my friends is gonna meet me up over there. My father as well. Everyone's just so excited for for the truck itself. Um, it's gonna be exciting to drive. You know, the crazy thing is, man, is that um, you know. The, way, the old ways of buying a vehicle are, are, are long gone. Um, being able to test drive, being able to, to negotiate, and it's kind of like first come, first serve. You want it, you don't, someone else will. Um, you know, the process of trying to get this truck has been, uh, definitely tested my patience, let's say that at the minimum. Um, you know, to wait 10, 11 months for a vehicle, is just crazy. Uh, there are moments in time where I almost broke. Uh, I called Eddie. I probably vented to Eddie about once a month. Eddie, I can't do this anymore, man. I'm getting a Raptor. I'm getting something else. I can't do it. I'm, I'm gonna get a, a GT500. Let me get a C8. And I just like, oh my gosh. And um, you know, fortunately, everyone kind of kept me grounded. You know, this is the truck that I wanted. Always been a fan of it. You know.
know, a lot of times, I guess in, in, in initial launch of the, t uh, the Tundra, uh, there were, you know, mixed feelings, right? There were people who said, no, you know, that thing's absolutely horrible. The girl's too big. It's ugly. Uh, for me, it was love at first sight. Uh, that's why I did not hesitate at all. And, you know, I think that I, I owed it to myself to, to follow through and, and really just get the vehicle. And, and here we are, uh, you know, 10, 11 months in the making. Again, I emphasize that a lot because I have never had to wait that long for a car. But, man, just so excited. Um, I don't know how it's going to drive. How, how do you think that the 437 horsepower, 587 pounds of torque, 3.5 twin turbo. How do you think that's gonna pull, Eddie? Man, it's gonna be it's gonna be fun to be able to compare to like a Raptor R. Oh yeah. It'd be fun to yeah. compare to other vehicles on yeah. really how it yeah. drives, how it handles, what does it feel like? Yeah. Man, I'm excited for I'm excited for for everybody who's been wanting to see a TRD Pro. I mean, it's just, this is like a unicorn in the making. You know, How many people yeah. could possibly own a TRD Pro in the state oh, of Texas man. right Well, now? we're going to find out because we are going to actually interview uh, one of the sales managers here at Fred Haas Toyota, who happens to be also a good friend of mine. Um, you know, I bought... Oh, Eddie, you're going to go ahead and uh, stay on the feeder, and then you're going to make a huge... Um, you know, I bought four vehicles from them. Um, well, actually, three. Four is uh, on its way, wink, wink, and... Uh, that's gonna be a surprise, but you gotta, you gotta like, subscribe, and tune in to figure out what that surprise is, man. Cause uh, that's gonna be a good. And we here we are, fellas, pulling up, 249 Houston, Texas, Fred Haas Toyota Country. Uh, let me tell you guys, this is an awesome dealership, man. I bought four cars from here. Uh, everyone is great. Uh, look, they got a they got a Tundra up in the front, man. 1794 oh, 1794. Edition. Two of them. Wow. 1794. Here we are. But we're not here to talk about uh, that. Oh, we're here to talk about. Wow, I thought that was my truck right there. That is not the TRD Pro. That is the uh, the TRD Off-Road. My truck is probably hidden somewhere in the back. So Guys, I want to introduce you to Mr. Bradley Hubbard. Bradley, introduce yourself. I'm Bradley Hubbard with Fred Hostel the Country. All right, and what are we doing here today? You're picking up your TRD Pro. And oh my gosh, look at this hey. guy! Hey, <laughs> this is Terry. Old Terry. Friend. Derek, say hello. 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 And so these guys uh, have been, you know, with me throughout this entire process of getting the vehicle, and it's finally here, ten months in the making. And we're going to walk back there. But we're here. It's exciting. Let's walk back. How you been, Bradley? I I've been to cover. wonderful. I've been wonderful. Oh man, guys, I'm excited. Let's see where it is. Oh, you, you guys got it in a secret location, huh? Yeah. You, you, can, you can see the nose of it. Oh, wow, way in the back. Yes. He's getting stiff windows on him. Oh, okay. So t tell me about the, the skid plate. What happened with that one? So usually there's a skid plate on the bottom, right? So there, is a, there is a TRD Pro skid plate, but we also add a second skid, skid plate that covers your catalytic converters. Okay. And because it's one of the first hybrids we've gotten, we don't have one. We have it professionally made from a, body, a um, metal shop that's local. Really? And we actually custom build them so that they fit up underneath and uh. they, can't, they can't take your caps. Uh, oh, okay. Understood. Okay. But this is not... So I'm, I'm thinking... This is not the the TR the, the skid plate. The TRD front. skid plate is already there. Okay, but, but this it is doesn't for the cover bottom. up your catalytic converter. So uh, gotcha. So this is more in the okay. Perfect, perfect. Man, you guys have a pretty good allocation of uh, tundras here. I was surprised. We got them all. We got we have two other hybrids. We have a 1794 and a limited sitting there. We have two 1794 gas um, that we all got in. They just brought them in the, the last two days. So. Oh my God, this is love at first sight. Guys, you are seeing this with me for the first time. My 2022 Tundra TRD Pro. And they're actually putting the tent in here. How's it going, fellas? All right, look, getting the tent in there as well. And oh my God, this thing is beautiful. Um, Wow. First impression of the truck, it is, no, oh my God, it's bigger than I thought. <laughs> Is it, how, how much higher does this sit compared to your other models? Uh, about an inch. About an inch higher. Got the TRD Pro with the BBS wheels in there. Got that front suspension going on. 
Got that beautiful lunar rock. Bradley, this I've waited so long, man. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Look how beautiful this thing is. I gotta leave that sticker on there. That, yeah. That's of course. That, that's built here, lives here, of course. Now we got we got to do the butt. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta elbow button. Do a prop. Wow, there you go, sir. Please introduce yourself. I'm Farrell Morris. I'm the sales director here at Fred Ass Toilet Country on 249 in beautiful Houston, Texas, and it's a it's a great Memorial Day weekend. Absolutely. And so these guys gave me the wonderful news of picking up my 2022 Tundra TRD Pro and Lunar Rock. Now, for the viewers here today, now you know everyone's very curious. Now you you see a lot of the allocation that came in today, 1794s. You got the SR5s. You got the Limited, but the TRD Pro is kind of a unicorn. So for those who are kind of interested in I guess you could say, seeing what what are their chances? Honestly, what is so much chance? If you were looking at this video right now, they say, man, I want to order a TRD Pro from Fred Haas Toyota Country. Honestly, what is the wait time? What is the process? What are your thoughts? Well, Tristan, putting it that way, that's the way we always do businesses, honestly. So we want to give you, you know, not just what, what you want to hear, but the real, the real truth. Um, this is the first time since the new body style Tundra, the 2022 Tundra came out, that we've actually had some sitting here on the lot that are not sold. Uh, every every truckload that came in up to now, somebody already owned them before they ever got here. So this is the first time. I think we started out the morning with five. Uh, we're down to four now. Now we didn't count yours because it was sold before it came. So we had five available this morning. We're down. We've sold one of those. We're down to four. We'll probably um, we'll surely be out by the time the weekend's over. But specifically TRD Pro. We have never had a TRD Pro in the new body style. This is the first one. You're the first owner, and I'm glad it's you, Tristan, being a little customer like you are. <laughs> but you got the first one, and not only that, there's not another one in the whole pipeline. So uh, eventually we will get another one in the pipeline, but as of right now, there's not even another one in the pipeline. And we have a list of people that, that want one already, you know, that are waiting for that next one and the next one after that. So we really probably have the first year's worth of them sold already before they even are available, you know, before they're even in the pipeline. And would you say it's true up, that the, the uh, color. yeah, and would you say it's true that uh, there's a lot of articles being written by Motor Biscuit and all these other guys that right now on average the wait time is roughly two to three years for a TRD Pro, yes or no? That's probably true uh, because of the, of the, you know, the ones that we have sold already, that's going to push it out probably, you know, I would say at least a year. Gotcha. You know, gotcha. so maybe, and, and a lot of that is going to depend on how many they produce. Gotcha. And that's kind of a variable in there that we don't know. And I and actually, I don't think they know. They they do all they can, but there's only a certain amount that they can do. And uh, with things like it is uh, now in the supply chain, you know, with uh, the, the backlog of everything, and they get everyone to us that they can, but it's just still very limited. And it's expected to stay this way for another, you know, year or two. Understood. And it's just sort of a, uh, you know, when these guys, you know, like and subscribe to this channel, this brand new channel here, give them a sneak peek. I'm going to allow you to break the secret. Now, I'm first in line for this 2022 Tundra TRD Pro. Go ahead and tell the viewers, what am I in line for for the second car? What, 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 is, what is coming here? For um, the, now, do you mean your next car? My or? next car. Oh my goodness. The Corolla GR86. There he is. said it. He yeah. said it. What is it? The Corolla GR86. See, I did not know that was you. Yes, that is I it. didn't know that was you. That Now, <laughs> that's even more, that's the next level of, yes. scare of, of uh, something that's not available. Yeah. And I did not realize, I knew we had the first one sold, yep. but I didn't know it was to you. Yeah. So that's awesome. Um, you really are a loyal customer. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, my so, father said, you, if you're not first, you're last. That's, that's exactly, <laughs> your, your father was exactly right. Yeah, man, you you got a lot of first there. Anyway, that's that GR Corolla is uh, we're only each dealer we're being told is only going to get one for that first year model. And how many dealers are in Houston? Um, I think in the, all of the Gulf states, there's about fifteen hundred. Wow. Okay. So depends on whether you're talking about the city of Houston or the wow. Houston area. Mm -hmm. City of Houston six probably, okay. you know, give okay. or take. But in the area, probably you know fifteen, depending on how far out you go, and. Uh, so when you're talking about uh, each dealer only getting one, and of course the bigger dealers, so the dealers in Houston would be the first ones to get. So we would be one of the first ones. So you'll be one of the first people to have one. There you go. But uh, yeah, the, it, then past that, the following year, you know, we have no information. But on that first year model, we're we're thinking that every every we've been told that every dealer gets one. So gotcha. you you are the you're that <laughs> one. 
first. Well, guys, so congratulations. You heard, thank you so much. And you guys, you heard her spirit from Fred Hasiota Country. And again, these guys are just down to earth, completely genuine and true. So if you guys want an honest experience from the whole team here, and you're looking into getting anything into along the lines of a Tundra or a Corolla or whatever other Toyota you guys might be interested in, come here to 249 Fred Hasiota Country. You won't make a mistake. promise you that. All right, guys, for those of you wondering, how much is a 2022 Tundra TRD Pro? And you're hearing on, I should say, a lot of the videos, some, some people saying 85, 90, 95, some even selling for close to 100 grand. Well, here is my price, my <laughs> right there. And this is honest, transparent as it can be. That's how much that Lunar Rock's gonna cost me. Is it a pretty price tag? Yes, it is. Um, but in my opinion, absolutely worth it. I mean, especially with supply and demand at this point. Uh, can't really wait for the next one. There's no such thing as incentives and bargaining with this. So there you have it, folks. There is the true price of the 2020 TRD Pro. Of course, in addition to a lot of the other additions that Fred Haas has placed for me, which I can't complain about. Okay, so we are back here with Bradley, uh, sort of waiting for finance to kind of come grab me. And you guys saw that the price there, uh, the drive out thus far, um, roughly about 85 grand, which is fairly expected with that vehicle. Now, Bradley, you know we're gonna we're gonna put your contact information, your number, your email, everything below uh, on the comments, so that if anyone was interested in trying to uh, get their hands on a Tundra, they will have access to you. But kind kind of tell everybody if they're watching this video and they wanted to go ahead and try to order a Tundra, uh, what is the process like now? Like, what do they have to do? So if you come in and see me, we'll sit down and do a spec sheet for you. Um, find out exactly what you want. If I don't have something on the lot, right now I have two 1794 gas, I have a 1794 hybrid, and I have a limited hybrid on the lot right now. Um, I do have a capstone that's incoming that is not sold yet, does not have anybody's name put on it. Um, but in general, you would come in, sit down with me, we'd go over specs. It's a $500 non-refundable deposit once I put your name on it and as long as I bring you the car that we promised you. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, pretty simple. Um, we, we sit down and, and uh, let you pick and choose what you want. On the pros, a little different because we don't have... And that's what happened to me, right? Because I wanted black and you called me and said, hey, you're getting Lunar Rock. Exactly. Well, I kind of gave you an option. If you want the Lunar Rock or do you want to wait a year for your partner? Yeah, and, so, and I said, man, I already waited close to a year. We're not doing that. Um, and now, you know, you mentioned the capstone, you know, that that's kind of, uh, that's interesting there because, you know, it's not really spoken about a lot. You, they know it's a top tier one, but, you know, if a, a lot of people are probably wondering, well, if the Tundra TRD Pro right now is coming in at 85, okay? Capstone's roughly about 91 plus there your you textile go. and license. There you go. So, it is up there, guys, and uh, you know that's just the world we live in today. But man, you're getting a great quality truck, and um, you know the crazy thing is, Brad, I haven't even test drove this thing, haven't even sat in it, and here we are doing paperwork, right? So definitely times have changed. Um, but on the other thing too, I want to show the viewers here. So I, I told them that I had a, a little surprise, and uh, you know they, I mentioned to them that I was first in line for this Tundra TRD Pro. Well, Go I ahead. kind of gave oh. it away whenever we were we were sitting. Yeah, in the other but room. showed them that picture so there. That is what is that? You for? also you also put a uh, deposit down on a Corolla GR Circuit Edition, so you will be the first one to get one of those. Those are another unit that will get 1,250 approximately made in the United States, and each dealer will get one. Yeah. And you will be the first one. So and, and you know a lot of everyone already knows due to supply and demand that that thing will have a. Pretty good markup. Um, roughly, what did we say about on the markup? I guess say presumptively, what kind of markup were we looking at on that GR Corolla Circuit Edition? About ten thousand dollars. About ten thousand. And uh, I'm going in blind, guys. But man, that, that is a vehicle that I also fell in love with. And again, just a huge Toyota fan. And so, um, yeah, we're we're gonna make it happen. And then once that vehicle comes in, I think what maybe if best case scenario later this year if not early next year exactly. uh, we will be back here with Bradley and the team at Fred Haas Toyota Country alright guys so I'm still waiting here and um, you know fortunately while I'm waiting uh, I actually had an Avenger here today <laughs> introduce yourself sir uh, I'm Clint Barton otherwise known as Hawkeye <laughs> and if you guys don't get it literally Clint Barton uh, I saw the name and I was like oh my god do you know who you are 
You're yeah. Hawkeye. You know, it was kind of funny. Uh, about ten years ago, I was in uh, Starbucks, and uh, the guy, the bartista behind the bar, uh, he says, "Hey, do you know who you are?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I know who I am." He goes, "No, do you really know who you are?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I got my name." Right. He goes, "You're Hawkeye." And I was like, "Who's Hawkeye?" And then he turned around and told everybody, "Hey, Hawkeye is yeah, in here." Yeah. So now it comes up like once or twice a week, especially ever since the movies come out. So. Don't think All right, guys. So. We uh, here's my father here. Oh yeah, look, look at him. Look, he's so he's so embarrassed. Here's our father. Our friend Frank finally showed up. Fashionably late, better late than never. So we're just sitting here, just kind of chilling. Uh, we finished all the paperwork, um, and uh, you know they, the, they're okay. I, I want go go around the table. Everyone's reaction when I told you the price of the vehicle after everything. Dad, what was your reaction? <laughs> your reaction. Your reaction. This is this is sticker shock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The uh, everyone, has changed. Uh, everyone, every, the tone of the video has changed from yay to like, oh my god, <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> um, but I think it's well worth it. Um, and honestly, guys, listen, um, I, I went ahead and I. So you you heard the the videos of people paying, saying the sticker price is about what give or take maybe a hundred grand, if not more, right? And. Um, and so, thank you, Eddie, for holding oh, it. Oh, yeah, I got you, bro. But, um, you know, so what we did was that the vehicle itself, MSRP, uh, on the website, looking at right around 69 uh, But obviously, the, after dealer fees and delivery fees and whatnot, you're looking at roughly about 75 And then they will add on things, like to my vehicle, uh, they added the bed extender, they added the scratch protection, they're adding the uh, catalytic converter protection, which definitely need that one um, and then they did the window tent uh, so they, they added a good amount of options to it um, and, and so therefore you know it, it did make the price of the vehicle a little bit more significant but I added extended warranty because now here's the thing I don't know with all, with all these problems going on with it the 3.5 v6 non-hybrids uh, I don't want to take the chance and you guys are gonna get we're going to look at it together because I'm going to have first exposure to it as well. So I'm technically the guinea pig for any of you guys who are considering getting the, uh, the iForce Max powertrain or the motor. We're going to find out. And so, but I, I didn't want to roll the dice on that one. So I definitely got the extended warranty on that. Uh, windshield is a must. Here in Houston, Texas, debris is inevitable. You will crack a windshield. Uh, and then again, Gab is pretty much should be standard. Uh, so the total cost of the vehicle drive out with all those things included came out to about 93. So it's about 93,000 on that. Um, it's, it's a sticker shock for sure. Uh, I never thought again that Toyota trucks would even be priced anywhere within that range. But uh, you know, th this is the times that we live in. And um, but you know you get that Toyota reliability somewhat. <laughs> we're, yeah. we're, we're, we're about to find, find out. out. Yeah. We're about to find out if that recipe still carries over on this truck, man. Um, but again, I haven't even had a chance to drive it, so we're gonna drive it here soon. Uh, sit in it. Um, Bradley's gonna walk me through as far as all the features it has. Very, I didn't know it had an integrated camera in it as well, so that's pretty cool. And we're gonna apparently be able to um, activate that. Uh, but we're just waiting here, kind of hanging out. I mean, they got a really good collection of cars here um here Fred Hoss. even if you look at there got got the fj there old school old Very school land cruiser there you go and you got the, the celica right? tristan here are your two sets of keys um the little metal tag that's along with the metal the keys is your key code don't lose it um it's if you ever have to program both keys and then your title receipt Keep in your car until you get your license plates. That's uh, showing that it's registered to you. And if you want to walk out, we'll go introduce you to your new right. truck. So this is the pickup zone, right? Oh, I see you guys have me hiding over here. Oh, there yeah. she is. You got remote start? Oh, wow, I didn't know that. Cool. So from your key fob, you can open your, your tailgate. You can also have the button what? here that you can open. So this has the 360 cameras, so I'll explain all that and go over that part with you. Okay. Um, go ahead and do me a favor. I'll shut this so you don't. So you know how the keys work. Yep. Two lines, locks the vehicle. To 
input to open it, all you got to do is put your hand in the handle and open it. Right now it's set up for just one door. If you decide you want all four doors to open, say your wife's coming with you, whenever you go to unlock it, put your hand in it, hold it for three or four seconds, and it'll unlock the other doors for you. So you okay. don't have to get in and actually hit the button. So, gotcha. While you're here, uh, wait about three days before you start walking out the windows. And uh, Oh, cool. The uh, And the floor mats come with it, huh? Yes, sir. That's awesome. So if you want to have a seat. Okay. Start her up. Got the TRD start button here. So there are memory seats on this one. So you are started even though, so see the little ready sign? That means that it's started okay. and it's ready to go. Okay. It will change back and forth between the motor and the battery as okay. it needs. Gotcha. Okay. I'm going to sit in the side over there. Okay, okay, perfect. Guys, this is the first time I'm actually sitting in the Tundra TRD Pro. Um, wow. This Man. So the one thing about the, the TRD Pro now is it has a lot of the features that the um, the um, the upgraded models have. It has your wireless charger. It has this inner center console safe. It has the 360 view cameras. You have the digital rear view mirror. So if you do this, that's actually a camera in the rear that's holding that's watching your deal. So if you have something in the back of your truck. Um, that's high that you can't see out the back window, you can actually flip your digital mirror and it'll actually show you a camera view instead of just the... Oh, nice. Um, sunglass holder. And tell them about this, dude, this integrated dash cam. The, this wasn't... Oh, nice. You got the panoramic roof. And Brad, show, show the signature Tundra roll the back window. They changed it this year, so... Uh, Dad, look at the back window opens. See that? Dang. See the window roll down? So, the truck is officially mine now. We finished the paperwork, and here we are outside. That Lunar Rock is looking absolutely beautiful in the sunlight. Um, and so, thank you again to Fred Haas Toyota Country, Bradley, and his entire team for helping me get my dream truck. And uh, Bradley, I think you got something for me, man. There you go. Oh my God! Congratulations! Guys, I got the keys. And if you need anything, you know where I'm hey guys, at. So please you, ask for me whenever y'all get here. You got to come to Fred Haas Toyota Country, 249. Right over here in Houston, Texas. Okay, they will take care of you guys. Uh, and I'm gonna actually go ahead and record when we take this out for a drive because this will be our first time. So I think that's the first time I bought a car without driving it. That that'll be an experience on its own. So, <laughs> so officially driving the truck home now. Uh, it's been a long but uh, amazing day and still surreal to be honest with you. Uh, still can't believe I'm driving this truck. <laughs> I mean. I literally still cannot believe I'm driving this truck and uh, I've been smiling ear to ear uh, the whole way home and, and you know right now currently I'm driving on the highway and, and first impression um, I think with this vehicle with the iForce Max with the TRD Pro Tundra is that the power is definitely there the power is definitely there it's on demand it's got great throttle response and um, the overall drive feel um, I, I think it's great you know um, the suspension may be a little stiff, but with the TRD Pro, uh, I'm assuming in a sense that that could be a, a contributing part to it. Um, it's a little stiff, but tolerable, you know. The truck handles well for its size, and, um, you know, it's very responsive as far as the steering goes. It's not, um, I would say, overly cumbersome. Um, I, I think that, you know, personally, I think even think my wife would be able to drive this truck. Um, I let her, <laughs> but I might have to cut that one out. No, but uh, honestly, I, I think it's a very tolerable truck. And, um, you know, I had a lot of my friends who previously owned TRD Pros and even the older models too. And, um, you know, they say, hey, you know, you're, not, you're probably not going to like it. Uh, suspension is very stiff. Um, you know, it's, you know, it doesn't really have great on-road manners. Off-road is great. On-road is kind of like it's a little much. But uh, I would have to disagree, to be honest with you. I think that... Um, I think it drives great. Finally made it home. Made it home safely. Uh, no window chips, no issues. Thank goodness. Uh, the truck is here, home safely. Um, you know, I just called the wife right now. She, uh, man, I have spoke about this truck the moment that it was released. And uh, she's never seen it in person. She's seen videos, she's seen pictures, uh, but never in person. Obviously, neither have I. But uh, I'm excited to show her in person, see what her reaction is. Um, and so therefore, uh, we're gonna go ahead and see how the wife reacts to it and um, the sticker shock. 
so we'll see what happens. Here we go. What do you think? I love our new truck. Let's take a look at it. What do you think of the color? I know it was a... Uh... I actually like it. I like it's... it. Like... I know you said on you. I know you said uh, you wanted black, but in about 93, 94 drive out. And what are your thoughts? Work hard, play hard. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I love the support. This is why I married her. Yeah, so we're very happy with the truck. I'm sorry about the alarm, guys, but uh, overall, very happy with the purchase. Yeah. Um, I'm now, happy you finally have it because I was hearing about it every single day. Yeah. So I'm, I'm happy. So guys, the, the overall stance of this vehicle is just absolutely menacing. It is wide. Okay, so got some bad news. The truck does not fit in my garage, unfortunately. Um, you know, I, I thought it would, given the fact that it backed up all the way to the wall. But clearly, as you can see here, it's, it's just not going to work. So unfortunately, uh, the truck will have to sit outside. It's all good though. Um, it just, it's just, I guess, a sign, honey, that tells me that the uh, the Corolla will be parking in. <laughs> but all is good. All is good. So as this video comes to a close, I just want to say thank you uh, for joining me today and picking up my Tundra and uh, you know the whole goal of this channel, uh, especially this being the first video, and, and with many more to come, uh, is to you know obviously give you guys that honest real life real world ownership experience uh for the tundra but also uh, many more things to come with this channel you know i got the uh the gr corolla circuit edition coming and um, i definitely don't think i'll be able to leave that one uh stock or <laughs> i already got plans for that one so we'll kind of join me on that and then you know maybe do some other things and i do have a uh uh, a 20, about a 20 year project that I've been holding on to. Keep it. And you know, with the uh, Honda S2000, which is the vehicle uh, appreciating in value, uh, I went ahead and decided that, you know, the time is coming to where I need to go ahead and complete this thing. So I'll be showing you guys that. And every everything else, everything else that comes again with just cars, uh, you know, as someone who lives and breathes medicine and being a medical provider man that you know talking about cars uh it's just an absolute stress reliever for me i'm, I'm just so passionate i'm a car enthusiast and uh anything and everything that has to do with cars I, i'm all about that and this is sort of what i want to bring to this channel and i take you guys with me and uh you know until next time thank you again for watching so much you guys have a blessed day